What is going on fam? So in today's video, basically, I just wanted to keep you guys in the loop about what is going on with the Kraftworks C38 supercharged FT2 project. And basically for the time being, we're just waiting on parts. Although I did get a bunch of parts already in and that is what I'm gonna be showing you guys today. So as I've covered in one of my past videos, we have the 70A Hasport billet motor mounts, which I'm very excited to install with the brackets, new hardware, all that. I'm not sure if I showed you guys this, but we have our boost box. And something that you guys haven't seen yet is I acquired these ARP head studs. I'm just trying to make this the most reliable stock boosted K20 without doing internals. So I'm just doing head studs, oil pump, possibly tensioner, and a couple other things. And then in this box right here, we got our hybrid racing fuel pressure gauge, which we're gonna put on our hybrid racing fuel rail. Another part we have acquired is the K-Tune fuel filter. This is the 6AN fuel filter, and it's relatively small, but she does the job, so that's that. And then in this box right here, we have our AN lines, which are E85 friendly, and we have all of our AN fittings in here, which everything is all E85 friendly. Oh, and we also have our Walbro 450 fuel pump, which is gonna be going straight into the tank. And then we have our AEM oil pressure gauge. Right here, we have our AEM air fuel ratio gauge. AEM gauges only, my boy. Now that I got both my gauges, of course I had to pick up a gauge pod. And this was a local pickup from Accelerate Performance. Really cool shop, when I pulled up, they had a couple AMGs. There was a R35 out front and a couple other built cars. But customer service to those guys was great and no complaints. So if you guys are in the market for a gauge pod, definitely hit them up. This thing's really nice and it's gonna be mounted right on my dash. It's gonna be mounted right like that. Basically where these panels are in, they're gonna be coming out and this is gonna go in to replace it. And it's definitely gonna add a very nice touch to the interior as well. We'll have our air fuel gauge and our oil pressure gauge in there. The intercooler has also come in and boys, this thing is pretty damn beefy, I'll tell you that. As you guys know, initially I was going to go with the Mishimoto intercooler, but after further research and looking into forums, I decided to go with the Speed Factory intercooler, which has the back door inlet slash outlet. Boom, boom. And that thing is minty. The welds are absolutely beautiful on there. Speed Factory, if you guys are looking to boost your cars and want to get a quality intercooler, uh, Speed Factory, in my opinion, is one of the best ways to go. And this is a must have for all people going C38. I'm not sure about C30, I'm assuming that's the same thing, but you need to get this adjustable K-tuned idler and tensioner pulley. Comes with the side mount, two brackets. Uh, you got your billet, looks nice and crispy. Comes with some hardware for you. K Tune hardware right there. Pulleys, K Tune, got the labeling right there. And you got your adjustment looking nice and fresh. We'll also spiffing up the bay a bit. And then for the catch can setup, I had to get a couple bungs for the valve cover. So I got two 10 AN vibrant bungs. These are going to be weld on, so I'm going to have to get those welded on. Mike will take care of that. And since the head already came off, you might as well pick up a new head gasket. I'm not even sure if the old one would even sit back again now that it's been untorqued and then retorquing it. So we got a new head gasket. And of course we got that nice clean red tag, OEM only over here. Now if we come around front of the FD, we have a whole box of parts. Let me just turn on the light over here for you guys so we could see a little bit better. So if we take a look in this box right here, we got a whole kit. We got the Type S oil pump kit, which actually seems to be smaller than the original one that is in my K20 Z3 from the 8th gens. Uh, the kit came with Honda Bond, obviously the oil pump. You got your baffle or whatever you want to call this thing. Looks like some sort of baffle. Then in this bag, 
you have your guide, you have your chain, you have all your hardware, all that good stuff. And I think that's it for this box. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. So we're gonna toss them back in. Oh, question for you guys in the comments. So basically I got this oil pump and it is the OEM brand, which is Yamada, as you guys can see right there. But it also has the HPT stamp on there, which is the brand that I bought it from. So if any of you guys have run this oil pump before, leave a comment down below. Is this legit? I mean, it looks legit. It has the OEM brand on it. Maybe HPT just put their stamp in there for marketing purposes. But that had me a little, a little second guessing it. So if you guys have any experience with that, just let me know. But only red tags over here, boys. And one other thing, I know I had told you guys I was gonna go with the competition clutch. I ended up going with Action Clutch Stage 6, and that should be here within the next few days. So, I'm looking forward to that. It is the Action Clutch Iron Man, and she should be pretty beefy, but not as beefy as the Super's Clutch. Because, dude, when I tell you that thing is heavy, that thing is heavy, and bless you, Baba, getting ready to drive that thing because. Sheesh! That is all I gotta say, my boy. Billet parts everywhere. That clutch paired with this big old spoily boy is gonna be quite a blast. Also, since I posted the last video, we have taken the head apart. So the head is sitting right over here. Everything looks great. We'll go more in depth in the next video and show you guys the condition of everything. But basically all I can tell you right now is pretty minty. Everything is pretty damn minty. It's got 20K on it, so. Shouldn't really be anything wrong with it. Got our block. There is some carbon buildup in there, boys. The motor sat for about two years, so that kind of will happen. No worries, though. I got some WD-40 and scotch spray, so going to get that right. And I just want to throw in a little hint for the next video, because it's not going to have anything to do with the FD build, but it's actually going to have something to do with two new cars. So before I close out this video, I just want to give you guys a little cliffhanger have something to look forward to the next video. I'm just gonna flip over the camera real quick. Okay. And I'm gonna flip over the camera one more time. Okay, that's all you guys get. Anyways, I just wanted to keep you guys in a loop. That way you're not wondering what's going on with the build. Stay tuned for my next video, which should be very interesting. As you guys may have seen, a little something going on in this shop right now. May have acquired a couple new cars. Not me, but Baba. And the content that these cars are gonna be making should be a damn good time so you and i both have that to look forward to as always thank you guys for all the love and support make sure to leave a thumbs up if you guys enjoy the video leave any comments down below or hit me up on instagram at that white fd2 and as always i will see you guys in the next one peace out fam